30 day challenge, the 30 day Spanish revision challenge. Well done for turning up today. It will pay off. With that said, vamonos. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you are looking for a little bit of structure for your Spanish GCSE revision, you're in the right place. Vamonos. Smash the subscribe button and you'll receive notifications of every upload. If you're a bit rusty on using the immediate future in Spanish, the video in the link below is for you. It's a straightforward description of how to use the immediate future and it can be a little bit easier to use than the other form of the future which has got loads of irregular stuff in it. Enjoy. In the oral part of the exam, do you sometimes struggle on describing the bits and pieces which are in there or the key elements in the, f in, in the photo? If that is the case, why don't you go on the video after this? Because it will give you one or two good ideas. Have you got a load of connectives in your armory? Connectives, those things that actually stick your writing and stick your speaking together. If you do, well done. If you're a bit short of sun, some watch the video after this. Buena suerte. today's video, today's day four video. If you use al with an infinitive, it means on doing something. So I'm going to give you an example now on how to use this in a phrase and it automatically boosts the quality of what you're actually saying. So here we go. Al ver los videos en YouTube me doy cuenta de que voy a mejorar mi español. I'll repeat that for you again. Al ver los videos en YouTube, me doy cuenta de que voy a mejorar mi español. Now, I'm pretty certain that you've understood what I've just said. If you haven't understood what I've just said, why don't you put a comment in the comment section below and I'll answer it. But just for the last time, al ver los videos en YouTube, me doy cuenta de que voy a mejorar mi español. 